I'm Nick Malis, and I'm a conservation biologist and marine debris specialist at Ocean Conservancy. And I've just recently returned from an expedition along the Alaskan coast, where we surveyed over 500 miles of some of the most remote coastline in all of Alaska. And the goal of the expedition was to try and better understand the quantity and composition of debris that litters these, these beautiful landscapes. You know, in Alaska, you have buoys and, and, and items that are absolutely dwarf the human. You know, standing next to some of these debris items like open ocean buoys and fishing nets, thousands and thousands of pounds in weight, um, amongst a, a beach that has 30 to 40 foot trees stacked nine feet tall, is an absolutely humbling experience of just how massive and impressive the Alaska landscape is. One of the primary objectives of this expedition was to also be on the lookout and survey any tsunami debris we came across. And throughout our expedition, on every beach we landed actually, we found some conclusive evidence of tsunami debris. Working day in and day out with plastics and ocean trash, rarely do you get the opportunity to, to be so close to the very animals that you are working to protect. You know, breaching humpbacks only 50, 75 feet from our boat, mother and calf. Um, many of these experiences brought our crew to tears, and it's, it's hard to explain that type of power until you experience it firsthand. And it would be easy for many to leave this expedition disheartened by what we saw. The, the massive debris problem that plagues the Alaska coast and the monumental task ahead of us to, to find ways to clean and prevent this debris from washing there. But I actually left with hope and I was inspired by what I saw there. The fact that yes, we have touched these landscapes, we have blemished these landscapes, but we have not ruined these landscapes. And so much beauty and so much raw power and incredible wildlife still thrives in the Arctic and in the Alaska ecosystem that to me, it, it is all the more reason to keep plastics and other forms of debris out of our waterways, off of our beaches, and most importantly, out of our ocean.